Regional banks rallying back today, but the sector is still having its worst week since mid-March as the latest Fed interest rate hike puts more potential pressure on the banking system. For more on all of that and the road ahead for the Fed and the banks, let's bring in former Fed Vice Chair and PIMCO Global Economic Advisor Richard Clarida. Mr. Clarida, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. You bet. Did the Fed make the right move this week by hiking rates again? I think they did make the right move. I don't really think it was a tough fall. Inflation's too darn high. And I think the committee was united. It was unanimous votes. So, no, I don't think they made the wrong move. Do you think they're done? Was that it? Ten and, ten and out? I think they think they're done. You know, I think there's risk on, on both sides. Uh, if inflation's sticky and stubborn, there could be more hikes down the road. You know, Jim Bullard was sort of hinting at that today. On the other hand, you know, the labor market's typically a lagging indicator. If it starts to soften, inflation falls rapidly. We could get those cuts, but I do think they think they're done, yeah. If, if you were still in the room, would you be moved by today's jobs report and wages, I, I might add, to say that June might be on the table? Well, certainly I, I would be looking at it. I think if we had not had the disruption in, in banking, June would be very much on the table. But I do agree with the Fed that um, that the tightening in financial conditions we're likely to get uh, from the banking uh, disruption is probably going to be equivalent to some additional rate hikes. So, no, I think... I think that I would be thinking about a pause at least in June. The other side of all this, obviously, is why bother going another 25 as they did this week while you have the regional banking system so unsettled? In other words, why give people yet another reason to look at what they can get elsewhere in terms of their investments, money market funds and what have you? 25 in the big picture isn't much. 25 coupled all together to get to 500 basis points in less than a year or about a year is a lot. I appreciate the point, and I think if inflation weren't in the four or fives, that might be persuasive. But again, inflation's just too high. The Fed's overshot its targets, not been transitory for, for three years. I think that is a consideration. Uh, but I would also uh, say that uh, I, I think they are communicating that they, they think they've done a lot. Policy operates with a lag. So I think that uh, they think they want to pause. You know, the chairman said the other day that the banking system is, quote, sound and resilient. Do you agree with that assessment? Would you have used those words given what we're still witnessing with the regional banks only two hours or so after he finished with those remarks? we saw one of the regional banks plunge by some 50%. Yeah. I think the chair did what, what really the chair can do in that, in that situation. Factually, he is correct, and I agree with him. The banking system as a whole, it's 4,700 banks, has enough capital liquidity uh, and, and, and is profitable. But there are banks, and, and several of them have failed, and, and perhaps more will be challenged, that are having a real struggle right now. So I think he needs to to stay on that, keep that focus on the big picture. But but I do agree that that it's probably not uh, over. You know, we had the comment from Jamie Dimon uh, recently uh, about uh, about something like that, and and probably there's more to come. See, I just find it so interesting that, you know, somebody of your stature would suggest that it's probably not over. There's probably more to come. But, yeah, it's OK that we raised or that they raised interest rates yet again. Um, there's no divergence in, in that. Well, again, I'm going to sound like a broken record. There's excess demand in the economy. Now, it is true that the labor market acts is a lagging indicator. So this is a challenging time. Uh, and in the future, there may be those who look back and say, what were they thinking? But I'm just giving you my sense of, of what I would be doing if I were in the room now. I don't know. I think we've been asking some of those types of questions with all due respect. What are they thinking uh, over yeah. this whole, whole period? M Mr. Bullard, um, who you mentioned, also said today of the bank stress, uh, it can be managed, quote unquote. Um, is there a point where it can't be? Sure. As I said, I think we're not facing a situation that, that's systemic where the entire banking system uh, is at risk. Uh, but yes, I would acknowledge there, there's, definitely, uh, there's definitely parts of the banking system that are not profitable at the current level of interest rates and that have uh, unrecorded uh, losses uh, on, on their books. Um, we have a process for doing that. It, 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 it's not smooth sometimes, as we've seen. Uh, but but it, but it looks like uh, it looks like that's their focus right now. Do, do you think that the Fed's supervision of the banks has been up to the task and, and doesn't in some respects 
SVB's collapse suggests that it's not? And also, why hasn't the Fed been more forthcoming in, in, in how they are thinking about their supervision and, and what they've done or didn't do, for that matter? Steve Leisman asked the chair himself, and I don't think got a great answer. Well, uh, I read uh, both the uh, report by, uh, by, by Mr. Barr and I read the, uh, the GAO uh, uh, report, uh, and certainly to me it indicated uh, a number of instances in which uh, supervisory concerns were not elevated and addressed. I think the chair said the other day that he read it and they're, and they're going to take action, and I, and I certainly would would uh, su su support that. So, so clearly, something something did not work as it was supposed to in either the supervisory or regulatory uh, piece uh, of this. There's no doubt about that. Well, what about the general idea that the—and this is another point of contention, frankly, that the Fed can do both. They can adequately fight inflation while having enough tools in the box to deal with whatever flare-ups you might get inside the banking system. Uh, do you believe that to be true? Well, we saw the Fed deploy that approach uh, just a couple of months ago with this new term financing uh, facility. Um, I do, I do believe that's the case. I do think, though, you have to be, you know, you have to be attuned and attentive uh, to the data and what you're seeing. But I would say, as of now, I would be in that camp uh, as, as well.